We'll be looking at several different types of computer hardware. Most of these types of hardware share the same core architecture, or at least very similar core architecture. Now, if you work down into the low levels of the architecture, there are various differences and sometimes wild differences between hardware types. But at the basic level, computers have similar types of internal hardware. The first type of computer is the mainframe. That's the computer that typically is the large computer with no or, or very limited I.O. capability outside itself. In other words, it doesn't communicate a great deal with other computers. Although it may communicate, it may have network uh, I.O., these days mainframes do a lot more than they used to, but the idea is that everything runs on one big piece of hardware. A server is a little bit different in that it still can be quite large and very powerful, similar to a mainframe, but the server's purpose in life is to serve or service requests. So you've got some other entity on the outside, probably another computer, that is issuing requests to the server. Now this may be a database server or an application server, but regardless of what type of server it is, it receives requests, processes the request, and then returns the data back to whoever requested it. The requester for services from a server machine is typically a workstation. A workstation in most cases is probably going to be a PC or a personal computer of some sort, but a workstation doesn't have to just be a PC. It can be anything. Workstations typically request services from servers and then present those to an end user of some sort. Network appliances tend to fit in between servers and workstations or really anywhere on a network. A network appliance is a computer in and of itself, although it may be very limited in functionality because its purpose is very narrowly focused. For example, a network appliance may be a router or a firewall or a switch. It can be very, very simple in what it's designed to do. It is a computer, it has a processor, but it doesn't do a lot. The last type of computer hardware would be PDAs and smartphones. Now, it's the last type because it's the newest type of computer hardware. Used to be that PDAs and smartphones were very limited in their functionality, but both classes have grown exponentially in the last few years, and now we see PDAs doing many of the functions, as well as smartphones, as many laptops did in prior years. We see more and more software and more and more operating systems running on PDAs and smartphones, and the concern to security professionals is that more and more PDAs and smartphones are used to access larger systems and we use them to store more and more personal and perhaps confidential information.